Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's ICU, and today we have something very important to discuss in the realm of jailbreaking. Actually, a few things. This is really the second jailbreak update video for iOS 9.3.4. The firmware that, of course, as most of you know, patched the Pangu jailbreak. Well, see, iOS 9.3.4 itself may have already been jailbroken. So this video is extremely important to not only prospective jailbreakers, but also those who are currently jailbroken. So be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and, of course, share it around to inform others. So let's go ahead and get straight into this. First of all, talking about iOS 9.3.3, of course, the latest firmware supported by the Pangu jailbreak. So we're over here on IPSW.me, which of course is a great tool to not only download new firmware files, but also to see which firmwares Apple is still signing. Because of course, as I'm sure the majority of you are well aware, you can only restore to a firmware inside of iTunes that Apple is still signing. It's just impossible to bypass all of the low level checks that Apple puts into place and restore to a firmware that Apple isn't signing. So long story short, Apple only allows restores to firmwares that they're signing which of course is bad for jailbreakers if a firmware like iOS 9.3.4 is released, it patches a jailbreak, and they stop signing the latest firmware supported by the jailbreak. However, that's not the case as of right now. So let's go ahead and search for iPhone, and we're gonna type six, and iPhone six plus, let's just go with that. We just need a device so we can see which firmwares are eligible for a restore. So of course, as you can see on the top there, we have iOS 9.3.4, but we also have iOS 9.3.3 and even iOS 9.3.2, guys. So this is absolutely crazy, guys. Apple is signing the past three iOS releases, and iOS 9.3.4 itself, the latest one, was of course issued to the public on August 4th. So come tomorrow, that will mark three weeks since the firmware that patched the Pangu jailbreak was released. It would make total sense for Apple to have already have stopped signing not only iOS 9.3.3, but even 9.3.2. Why are they still signing that firmware? It is over three months months old at this point, and it will be four months come September. So this is definitely strange, right? If Apple were totally against jailbreaking and they wanted to completely end it, they would of course not only patch the jailbreak, but they would stop signing the firmwares that were supported by the jailbreak. This is definitely a blessing from Apple if they don't even know it and if they're not aware of it, which of course I guarantee you guys, Apple does know that individuals are still able to restore to those earlier firmwares and of course in turn jailbreak. But of course, let's say Apple stopped signing iOS 9.3.3. Remember, 9.3.4 was supposed to be the last iOS 9 release, and the only thing that it had over its predecessor being iOS 9.3.3 was the fact that it did patch the Pangu jailbreak, because iOS 9 is going to be the last firmware for select 32-bit devices, and they want to ensure that the last firmware for some devices is, of course, as secure as possible, and they also want to ensure that iOS 9 in general, the last version, is secure. But according to something that an alleged hack tweeted out today, iOS 9.3.4 may have already have been jailbroken. See, this individual here did tweet this YouTube video of him essentially jailbreaking an iPhone on iOS 9.3.4, and essentially it looked to be delivered in the exact same way that Pangu delivers their iOS 9.3.x jailbreak, which of course is through an application that by itself allows developers to not have to worry about or focus on discovering a bug to allow for unsigned code execution, and I feel like we'll see more and more jailbreaks like this as we start to move forward because they don't require as much work and developers can of course then go on to create new jailbreak utilities. But anyway, I digress. Let's get back to the point here. iOS 9.3.4 was, of course, allegedly jailbroken. And I say allegedly because there's no way for us to really confirm it. Of course, it goes back to the old saying, believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. And in this case, we're seeing an iPhone be jailbroken on iOS 9.3.4. That could easily be faked. There's so many individuals who have faked jailbreaking the latest firmwares in the past. However, I will say this, this guy does seem pretty legitimate. So when we actually go and check out his Twitter here for his bio, he states that he's an Android and iOS senior security engineer at Alibaba. For those of you who don't know, Alibaba's main business is essentially the Chinese version of eBay. So this is a big company, guys, absolutely massive. They of course have other subsidiaries and divisions that expand beyond just that aspect of it. Again, kind of like the Chinese version of eBay, but this definitely lends to the possibility that this 
thing is legitimate. In fact, in his tweet, he actually mentioned Luca Tedesco. And when we go ahead and hop over to Luca's Twitter account, you will notice that he himself retweets it. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that this is 100% official. Again, it just lends to the possibility that it may be legitimate because Luca Tedesco himself has not only contributed to the realm of jailbreaking, as I've said a number of times, but he also has private jailbreaks. And of course, he loves to flaunt them. He always tweets out when he's able to jailbreak a new firmware. However, even if this guy's jailbreak is legit, that doesn't mean he's going to release it. He could be like another Luca Tedesco and just showcase what he's working on, or he could actually go another route and he could sell the bugs either to Apple or to someone else. Remember back when there was a million dollar bug bounty going on through Zerodium? Yeah, that kind of stuff and those kind of shady deals happen absolutely all of the time. So don't get your hopes up about this, but you don't even have to worry about that right now because Apple is still signing iOS 9.3.3, which means if you receive a device on 9.3.4 or you accidentally update, you can still downgrade back to 9.3.3. That's absolutely key and you will be able to so long as Apple continues signing the firmware. Now they may stop signing it today, tomorrow, a week from now. We just don't know. When they stop signing it, downgrades will not be possible and this may become more relevant. So I highly recommend downgrading immediately. Do not waste any time whatsoever. I will have a link to my tutorial down below in your descriptions right now. Do not waste time. Again, downgrade if you want a jailbreak. But let's go back and visit Luca's Twitter because he also said something else pretty interesting. He said, by the way, if you're on 32 bits, you may want to stay on 9.3.2 slash 9.3.3. And reason being, he said in a follow-up tweet, just happened to have been working on some code between DEF CON and my vacation around Cali that exploits 9.3.3 on 32 bits. So guys, this may mean that those of you who have older devices could receive a jailbreak shortly. Of course, you need to stay on pre-iOS 9.3.4 though. So if you have a 32-bit device and you said, screw it, I'm just upgrading to iOS 9.3.4 because there's not a jailbreak anyway, you absolutely have to downgrade. And of course, that's also where my downgrade tutorial comes into play. Hopefully something will come of this and maybe Luca Tedesco will release something. He said in the past that he's never going to release a jailbreak himself, but he may this time as indicated by some of his latest tweets or he could just pass along what he's been working on to other developers, specifically Pangu, like he's done in the past a couple of times. So guys, this is definitely some really exciting stuff. The takeaways for this, number one, Apple is still signing 9.3.3 and you can downgrade and of course jailbreak. If you have yet to jailbreak, of course, once you're on iOS 9.3.3, then definitely check out any of my numerous jailbreak tutorials. I will have all of them linked down below in the description for you guys as per usual. And number two, iOS 9.3.4 may in fact already be jailbroken. So when Apple stops signing iOS 9.3.3, we may get another jailbreak, though the chances are slim. Again, don't get your hopes up. This guy could have other plans with this jailbreak and with what he's been working on. And finally, for number three, we could get a 32-bit jailbreak thanks to what Luca Tedesco has been working on. We'll just have to see. I will keep you guys completely updated. Be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name. That way you won't miss out and you'll be notified every time I release a new video. And also because I know some of you are going to ask me about this, will the iOS 9.3.4 jailbreak or is the one that this guy supposedly has be untethered? Unfortunately, the answer to that question is probably no. See how he was able to exploit and deliver the kernel patch was very similar, if not identical to the exact same method that Pangu utilized again through an application. The only thing that differed of course were the exploits because they were patched in iOS 9.3.4. And what that means is that if it's anything like this Pangu jailbreak, which of course it definitely seems like it is, then it has to reapply that patch every time the device boots up, which of course is what you're having to do when you launch up the jailbreak application and you proceed with, of course, the process inside of said app. You're just patching the kernel again, so that way you can use Cydia and anything you've obtained through Cydia. So guys, that wraps up this video. I really hope you liked it. Just some super important things that are going on right now in the realm of jailbreaking that I thought you should be made aware of and that I felt like needed some explanation. So of course, be sure to give it a thumbs up if it helped you. Like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your iDevice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.